But don't sit on your hands because I'm going to ask you to applaud, to welcome our speaker for the morning. He's Reverend John Scott, our spiritual leader. And Reverend John is going to assure us, you are the Christ in Christmas. Let me, help me to welcome Reverend John to the podium. Ring the bells, ring the bells, let the whole world know Christ was born in Bethlehem many years ago. Born to die that man might live, come to earth new life to give. Born of Mary, born so low many years ago. God the Father gave his Son, gave his own beloved one, to this love-starved place called earth, to give mankind new life, new birth. Ring the bells, oh ring the bells, let the whole world know. Christ the Savior lives today, as he did so long ago. Good morning and a bono nonos Christmas to you all, my beautiful temple family worldwide. I think every one of you mothers can picture this. Mary, exhausted, just gotten baby Jesus to sleep, is approached by a young man who thinks to himself, what this mother needs is a drum solo. I can just hear her inward groan as she says, shh, do not wake him up, I beg you. Can we have a lullaby instead? And so I want to thank Auntie Angela and Auntie Lilith and the children and Tony for that lovely lullaby, Tony. I think that was much more, I think, to Mary's liking. Uh, we save the bells and the drum solo and the, all of that for when the baby awakened. So it's Christmas. What a joy it is to relive and to celebrate the magic and the mystery of the unknown, the untouched, the yet to be. Today is a day when we give birth to joy. We have spent the whole of the past few weeks preparing our consciousness to receive the Christ. That principle of sonship and daughtership, which assures us that we too are divine. That we too, as Jesus the way sure did, can walk in close contact with the indwelling and the living God. And so it's a special day, because it is a day when we celebrate ourselves. And I've titled my encouragement after a poem that is by that famous author, unknown, at least to me. And it's titled, You Are the Christ in Christmas. You are the Christ in Christmas. You 
our carols sung. You are the golden bells rung. You are the candles that bli br brightly glow, lighting life's path wherever you go. You are the star that shone that night, guiding the wise men by its light. You are God consciousness, body, mind, and soul. You, and you, and you, and you are the Christmas story retold. And so this morning we want to celebrate ourselves as we give birth to joy. You know, friends, we live in two worlds. The man whose birth we honor today said, I am in this world, but I am not of this world. And I want us to think about that. We are in this world, but we're not of this world. We are spirit, having an earthly experience. And we can, in this earthly experience, give birth to joy, the joy that lifts everyone who comes into contact with us up into a greater realization of the glory and greatness of that which called all things into being. And that whose coming the angels sang. And I want you to know that that angel song is still being sung because we walk the earth as our brother Jesus did to spread the joy, to touch, to heal, to bless, to prosper, to love and liberate everyone with whom we come into contact. So we live in this outer world of things and people and events, but the inner world, the inner world is that place where we find that tender belonging, that tender beingness, that beautiful concept that we are the Christmas story retold. And so many of us come, as Jesus did, from humble beginnings. So many of us, you know, not many of us come off a high table, as Aunt Lee sang a few, a few weeks ago in that wonderful um, song created by our maestro, Noel Dexter. But most of us just are ordinary people. And yet, within us is the seed of greatness the Christ potential to be all that we want to be, to have all that we wish to have. And as Reverend Michael said in his beautiful inspirational reading from Ernest Holmes, all that I have, all that I am, I give. I give to everyone I meet, not just those who are my friends and come below, not just those who fit my, my concept of what a pastor should be or a well-dressed lady should be or a good friend. I, I, I give that which I am, the presence and the power of Christ, to all life kind. Just think about that. Can you give the presence and power that you are to the croaking lizard on your, the wall in your dining room? Oh, I heard a groan. You know, can you give all that you are to the person who is inebriated and perhaps dropped down on the street? Can you give all that you are to the car beside you that's blaring the most discordant sounds you, you think you have ever heard while you're trying to listen to a little quiet meditative music? Don't listen to too much meditation music when you're driving, though you may fall asleep. But you know, I was, I was listening to a carol, um, one of my favorite, Mary Did You Know, played so beautifully by Angela and Emily. And up beside me drives a car, and he's playing something, you know, something wonderful from the dance hall, but it didn't quite mesh with what I was. Mary Did You Know, <laughs> that in the traffic of a busy Kingston, in beautiful Jamaica, there would be a taxi man beside me that I know is an incarnation of God. I know it is Christ expressing. But Lord, it's Christmas, it's Christmas Eve. Give me a break. You know, can we 
be our God selves when all around us is the hubbub and the bustle and the commotion and the fear of COVID-19. Can we be our God self with people whose values are not congruent with our own? And you know, in our recently concluded summit, we came up with five core values, the values that we think are core and are basic to all the people who are associated with the Temple of Light Center for Spiritual Living. And I, I remember them because it, there's an acronym, PALES, P-A-I-L-S, Peace abundance, integrity, love, and service. Can we fill our pails with these values so that we can water our country and our society? Can we, from those pails, water our children so that they can grow in the grace and truth of the living Christ within them? Can we, from those pails, offer to those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, a sip of that divine dew that Jesus promised if we drank would ensure that we never thirst again. And you know, friends, this Christmas story that we are celebrating today, it surpasses even the Easter the resurrection story for me. This is the whole reason that we came to earth, to bring this joy, to give birth to this beauty that is the truth of human existence and is the reason why we gather at the Temple of Light Center for Spiritual Living or wherever our places of worship are, however we conceive God to be, whether we call him Allah or Vishnu or whatever, whatever it is, in whatever culture, because the, the the principle of Christhood transcends all cultures, all religions, all races, all people. It is the universal presence that we say was born on Christmas Day. In a place humble to remind us that when we come from humble circumstances, we too can rise to the greatness. You know, the master taught that just a, just a tip of yeast in the flour will make it rise. And that Christ consciousness is the yeast in our lives so that we can rise to the greatness that is the truth of our being. And so your assignment this Christmas is a simple one. It is to let everyone whom you encounter feel the joy. Feel that inner beauty. You know, Lewis Carroll in his wonderful book, Alice in Wonderland, um, talked about looking through the mirror. And the Bible also says, well, now we see in a glass darkly, but then we shall see face to face. So it's, we're looking not in the mirror, but through the mirror as our inner world creates our outer world. And we are constantly doing that. In, 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 you know, it's so easy to look at Jesus and the stories of his life and his greatness and his beauty and his holiness and to feel inadequate. I used to think I can never measure up to this, so why bother? party and have a good time because you can't, you can't measure up to this. And it wasn't until I came to this teaching known as the science of mind that I learned that I too can be Christed. That I too can aspire to be the person that God created me to be. That I could, I could tap that in a potential. potential. That is that mine, is mine that is yours, that is, yours, that is that the birthright, is birthright of every living, every living human, human being upon, upon the planet. And so, and so Jesus, Jesus assured, assured us that the things that he did, we can do even greater things. If only what? We believe. And so I want us to begin to believe 
in our own goodness. I want us to be begin to believe in the goodness of all human beings. I want us to begin to treat everyone we meet as that holy child held close to his mother's breast, sleeping in the hubbub and bustle of a busy township. And still from that center within us, we can reach out. We can give birth to the joy that envelops all of life. And in that joy, all fear, all sense of separation, all disbelief will evaporate like the mist before the warmth of the rising morning sun on a beautiful Jamaica on Christmas Day. So let the joy that you give birth to be your assignment. You can't help but bring it forth, my friends, because it is within you. And the eternal splendor that God created cannot forever be suppressed. It must break forth so that the divine planting may take root and grow and bear fruit so that all who encounter you can feast on the goodness that you bear, can drink from that pail of joy that is the elixir of your life and never ever thirst again. I want to end by sharing something with you which, which really means a lot to me. It, I got it out of this answer of my textbook and I forgot to write down, write down the actual page. But you know, as we're talking about the Christ child and the assignment of your giving birth to, to, to what? Joy and allowing everyone whom you encounter to share it. I got some affirmations that I want you to share with me. Let us say together, on this Christmas day, I let the Christ rule my heart, mind, and affairs. On this Christmas day, I let the Christ rule my mind, heart, and affairs. I see the new birth of love in all people and all events. I see the new birth of love in all people and all events. All the beauty of Christmas is mine. All the beauty of Christmas is mine. All the love of Christmas is mine to give. I am the joy. I am the Christ in Christmas. I am the Christmas story retold. And if you're in the sanctuary, just turn to someone near you and say, you are the Christ in Christmas. If you're at home, turn to somebody in the family. And if you're not with anyone, look in the mirror and say, you are the Christ in Christmas. You are the Christ in Christmas. You are, my Angela, the Christ in Christmas. I wish you all that joy, that beauty, because my friends, you are the Christ in Christmas. Have a Bununu's holiday and just stay safe and know that I love you. Namaste.